Setting up your business website is an important way to connect with customers online. Let's see how you can get started. Hi, I'm Israel Serna, a girl with Google Trainer. Today, we're gonna to talk about choosing a domain name and host for your website. Your business domain name is like the online equivalent of a sign on a physical store. An ideal domain name accurately describes your business so it's easy for potential customers to find you. It helps to include a recognizable keyword in your domain name. For example, if you sell antiques, including the word antiques makes it easier for people searching online for antiques to find your business website. Help people even more by keeping your name short, simple, and easy to spell. And try to avoid using confusing hyphens or numbers. To register a domain name, you can go to Google Domains and see what's available. Most domain names are pretty inexpensive, but you need to renew your name every year, or you could lose it. Most sites offer discounts if you register for several years or sign up for auto renewal. It's best to use domain names with a .com extension as this is the most recognized domain extension. Although you could use .net, if your business is a nonprofit, you can use .org, and if it's education related, you can use .edu. Once you pick a domain name, your site needs a place to operate. Companies like Blogger, Shopify, Squarespace, and Wix provide web hosting to store your website's images, text, and data, plus make them accessible to people online. Google Sites is a great resource if your business doesn't need e-commerce capabilities. It has tools to help you get a website built quickly with your own images and brand style. You can visit sites.google.com to find out more and get started. No matter which type of hosting and which provider you pick, check if they offer any special capabilities and support that your website may need. 24-7 customer support can be a valuable feature. If you experience problems, you'll want to be able to contact your hosting provider immediately. If you're selling things online, check if your host offers a secure sockets layer, or SSL, that encrypts your customer's financial information to help make your transactions be more safe and secure. If you don't have the budget for a web developer, Hosting services often offer website builder tools and templates to help you get your site off the ground and make it look professional without paying for custom design. To keep learning about the digital tools that can help your business get started and grow, be sure to tune into our other videos and subscribe to our channel. You can also keep learning on the go with the Google Primer app or check out our Google Career Certificates for job-ready skills you can put to work. See you next time.